Welcome back to Harbor. On the heels of Senator Brownback's endorsement of John McCain and Pat Robertson's support of Rudy Giuliani, the National Right to Life Committee officially today threw its weight behind Republican presidential candidate Fred Thompson. Can Thompson be the candidate for the pro-life movement and social conservatives generally? David Osteen is the executive director of the National Right to Life Committee. Thank you, sir. Why did you pick Fred Thompson rather than John McCain, who's a real lifelong pro-lifer? Well, we examined three things, the candidate's positions, the candidate's record, and their electability. And quite frankly, uh, Senator Thompson scored on all three. He's got a strong pro-life stand on the issues. He's committed to appointing the kind of judges that would reverse Roe v. Wade, judges <coughs> that will interpret the Constitution according to their text. He's voted right down the line on the issues, and his stand on embryonic stem cell research is very pro-life. He opposes the kind of research that would require killing human embryos and supports the kind of research that's producing cures now and wouldn't harm anyone. And he's well, got how do you record. Stand, but what about his opposition? He was doing, he said this on Meet the Press recently, very recently, that he opposes passing a constitutional amendment, amending the Constitution to basically outlaw, let's take a look at what he said about the amendment to, uh, to ban abortion. Could you run as a candidate <laughs> on that platform promising a human life amendment, banning all abortions? No. You would not? No. Uh, I have always, uh, and that's been my position the entire time I've been in politics. Um, I thought Roe versus Wade was wrongly decided. Uh, I think this platform originally uh, uh, came out uh, as a response, particularly to Roe versus Wade, because of that. Uh, before Ro Roe versus Wade, states made those decisions. Uh, I think people ought to be free uh, at state and local levels to make decisions that even Fred Thompson disagrees with. To have an amendment compelling. Uh, going back uh, even further than pre-Roe versus Wade, um, have a constitutional amendment uh, to do that, I do not think would be the way to go. But doesn't, uh, Mr. Osteen, doesn't a right to life or believe in outlawing abortion, period, not leaving it up to the states, like states' rights? Well, of course, what, first let me, I'll point out, Fred Thompson's clarified that he wouldn't try to change the Republican platform, but no one can promise a human, human life amendment in the next term of... Uh, the next presidential term, it would take a change of 25 to 30 votes in the United States Senate, and that's not going to happen. The Human Life Amendment's been a goal of the Right to Life movement, but it's a tool, it's a tool to protect unborn children. What we're trying to really do is protect unborn children. And yeah. that's going to be done first by reversing Roe v. Wade, by getting the kind of judges that Fred Thompson will appoint. Now, What's your ultimate having, goal? Your ultimate goal, though, as a Right to Life organization is to outlaw abortion in America, isn't it? Uh, our ultimate goal is to pass laws to protect unborn children. But remember, with the Human Life Amendment or reversing through the court, it's going to take enabling state legislation. You know, Fred Thompson voted in the Senate uh, against a resolution uh, praising Roe v. Wade. He voted uh, against a sense of the Senate resolution. His support uh, to overturn Roe v. Wade is clear. He's been there. He knows yeah. that life begins at conception. He stated that. He opposes abortion. Remember also, he's a conservative. He's a federalist. And of course, we have a federal system of government. And when he sense. states that people in the states and people through their legislatures can pass laws he disagrees with, and notice he says he disagrees with, that's just their system of government. But he's a pro-lifer. He wants to see pro-life laws passed. What and about, what about Romney? Senate. Romney says he's a pro-lifer. McCain's what? a pro-lifer. Let me ask you about Romney, who's, who's doing so well in the polls in Iowa and New Hampshire. He may well be the early front-runner when we start actually voting in this country. Mm -hmm. Would you support him if he were to win the nomination? I, I don't want to get into hypotheticals because I, I believe Fred Thompson will win the nomination. But let me say this about the early states and Fred Thompson's position well to win in states like South Carolina and Nevada. With the compressed primary schedule and essentially a mini national primary February 5th, it's not clear how, how uh, those early states are going to, are going to play in this. Yeah. And, I've always and, wondered and, something and, about, and I've I, always I, wondered I, something about the pro-life movement. If, if, if you believe that killing, or killing a fetus or killing an unborn child is, uh, is murder, why don't you bring murder charge or seek a, a murder penalty against the woman who has an abortion? Why do you let her off if you really we, believe we, it's we, murder? We, we've never said sought criminal penalties against why the not? woman. There haven't been criminal penalties well, why against not? the woman. Well, you don't, you don't know the circumstances and how she's been forced into this, and that's forced that's into going it. to be effective. We're out. We're not out. See, this we're is where the hypocrisy comes in, sir. If, if it's wrong think, to have an abortion, why don't you criminalize it? I don't think that's, the way, think that's the way you're it. going to protect unborn children. But if you I say think, it's murder, why don't you act I, on that? I think civil, I think civil penalties 
aiming at the doctors, taking away the financial incentives. We're after what works to protect unborn yeah. children. But and the problem with all the states' goal. rights is you just go to the next state, and if you outlaw in America, you just go to Canada or Mexico or Dominican Republic. Unless you penalize the person who has an abortion, I don't see how you actually stop somebody from having one. Well, I, I, I'm not... Uh, we have never sought criminal penalties against a woman. I think it's much, far more effective to take away the financial incentive of the abortion doctors that are doing this for profit and for money. And we are, our goal, remember, is to protect unborn children and to do what will work. And it is a fact we have a federal system of government. Yes, we're going to work right. for laws in all of the states, and we will overturn Roe v. Wade, and Fred Thompson would help do that. Do you believe abortion is murder? I believe it's the killing of a human being. Murder is a technical term, and right now, unfortunately, it's legal. But it's the killing of a human being. But, but you do believe it's murder? Well, I believe it's the killing of a human being. That's, that's a term. But, yeah. but I'm yes, always, it just seems like you always are secure. Being. You make a basic political judgment to, to blame the doctor when, in fact, these doctors don't go door to door offering people abortion services. The person who wants the abortion goes to a doctor and has the procedure done by the doctor, and yet you put the onus on the doctor. It just seems to be the strangest way to enforce a law. Well, well the, remember, that's where the financial incentive is, and the physician knows what they're doing. How many women, women have been told this is a blob of tissue? You know, this isn't really a human life. How are they pressured by, by uh, men that want to escape their responsibilities, perhaps? Yeah. What about a young girl that's been impregnated by a male where it's a case of statutory rape? But the abortion doctor knows exactly yeah. what they're doing, that they're taking a human life. And you will see Roe v. Wade reverse, and you'll see respect for human life restored. Okay, and Fred Thompson you. will help do that, sir. Thank you very much for coming on this show, David Osteen of the National Rights